16! Wow, I really had to think about that one. These days are getting away from me. Um, I'm excited uh, because today is the day where I finally finished my Christmas shopping. All I really gotta do is get my mother's gift. Then I'm going to wrap all my gifts and then be done with it. And that's another thing I have to do is still wrap my gifts. So that still has to be done. But I'm just happy to finally be close to be done. Like, you know when you, you, you don't really stress about it. Like, you know what you want to get somebody, but you just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Well, I'm finally done putting it off. I'm going to get the last gifts I need to get today. And that is what I'm going to do right now. Granted, I'm a little... I'm a little bummed because tonight I had a party I was going to go to for, with my friend Terry, but we all decided to reschedule because we were supposed to have a huge snowstorm tonight and it just seems like after the last snowstorm, I'm not ready for the new one because we're still recouping from the previous one. So I am not ready for a new snowstorm. So I plan to just kind of like chillax. Luckily it's Friday. I don't have to work tomorrow. Granted, I have my mother's party tomorrow and I have to get Kiefer tomorrow. But at least I don't have to get up early for anything. So that's the plan so far. I don't have to do anything in the morning. So by the time I leave, technically everything should be done as far as like the snow goes. We'll have like the snow blower guys going through. We'll have the shoveler guys going through. We'll have like um, what are they, plows going through. I couldn't think of the word plow for some reason. It just totally lost my mind. So by then, oh, and salt, we'll salt the roads. It'll be great, it'll be fantastic, and I won't have to worry about driving in the snow, hopefully. Store numero uno. This is what we're looking for. Something, somewhere. I should consider writing a book just like this. So it may or may not be several several hours later and by several hours I mean like 10 p.m. <laughs> um, it's nearly the next day it's actually probably barely day 16 anymore but but I have a plan I know I didn't vlog much today and that's just because the nature of today was very very exhausting from yesterday um, I didn't really get a lot of sleep so I accidentally took a nap on my couch and woke up like an hour ago and then I finished some dishes and cleaned the floor where the mutt was. Remember the other day when he had fluff everywhere? I finally cleaned it up. <laughs> it's been down there for like two days. I didn't feel like dealing with it until until I woke up We're nice and refreshed. Actually, I have something from yesterday that I didn't put in and I decided to save it for today when I was editing because yesterday's vlog was already a little bit long anyways. So I decided, so why not save a piece of yesterday's vlog and put it in today's vlog so that way I can kind of supplement because today I knew it was going to be a really shitty day. Not really shitty, it was actually not a bad day, it was just like, it was just tiring. So I didn't, didn't do a lot, didn't do a lot today. So let's insert the clip of the Rua here. So the first song I'm going to play for you guys is called Fight for What's Right. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, 
We are brothers and sisters. Uh, we come from a very big Irish musical family. Um, we're kind of forced to play music when we were kids. <laughs> um, it was like, it was compulsory. Yeah, Mandatory. violin lessons, piano lessons, singing lessons. lessons. We did lots of competitions and stuff when we were younger. We used to go to Ireland, kind of half and half. We spent most of our time half in Ireland and half in England. And about five years ago, our dad was like, you guys should form a band. And we thought he was nuts, because now we live together and we work together. <laughs> um, but and travel together. And travel and together. together. Eat together. Yeah. Uh, we have separate hotel rooms. That is why That's we survive. That's saving thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Who's the and middle sibling? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to Always get to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I realized that we stand like this. In right? age order. In age order. Depending on how you look at it. Um, no, it's because always you sing, it kind of always is in age order. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this next song I'm going to play is called Stand Out. It's a song that means, has a lot of meaning to us. Um, we, it was written about a woman who was, she was basically part of our family. She was the nanny to our aunt's kids for about 27 years but she was more like a family member herself and she looked after us oh my goodness until we were adults basically um she sadly died from cancer about six years ago now but even when she was battling many times she still looked after us more than she did herself she was a completely selfless woman um and probably one of the most inspirational people we know you sadly um and uh this is influenced by her. She wanted us to pursue our dreams, and um, she'd be very happy with us right now. So this is called Stand Up. Um, and 
he was doing a lot of things that became very formal and other. And then also on drums, we've got Clyde Demon, who plays with Radiohead, Portishead, Robert Plant. Um, he's too busy to play with us right he's, now. He's he's on tour right now. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Mikey Rhodes is keyboards, and he plays with uh, Mick Jagger and Oasis, Stevie Nicks, and then. Danny Robinson on electric guitar, he plays Jimi Hendrix in the Jimi Hendrix experience. So we've learned loads from them and it's incredible to have Danny's from Detroit, isn't he? Yeah, Danny's from Detroit, Danny's yeah. From Detroit. He does not live here anymore, but he's from Detroit. What are you? We're playing one. We did it, what we did it. We're like, what are we doing? And so thank you very much for having us in. Um, and letting us talk at you. Yeah. <laughs> and letting us talk at you. Um, so the last song we're going to play is actually our current single called Without You, and um, this was actually started by Alana and I, um, we were, just before we had to go into the studio to record the album, we were like, we need some more songs, because we didn't have enough, and um, we sat down, and we were just like messing around with chords, and messing around with tunes, and she said the word suffocating, and I was like, ooh, that's dark, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and what's funny is the song actually sounds really happy. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> the words are not. And then Jonathan came in and like changed I sped it up, changed the key. <laughs> made it difficult for us. Made those changes. Mm-hmm. Which, they like? I know. <laughs> Brothers, well, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for having us. And this is Without You. There you go. <laughs> Don't be too positive yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, and it's the Rua. Thanks, you guys. 96.3 WDBD live in the Acoustic Lounge. I really enjoyed the Rua, and I hope you guys did too. Um, obviously, as per usual, I can't show too much of the songs. So, But I highly suggest, highly suggest looking them up. Um, I think they're called the Rua Official on Twitter. I might be in wrong. If I am wrong, I'll put it the... You know, regardless, I'll put their little Twitter link right there so that way you can see it. But they're really cute and they're really fun. Um, they're like all Irish band, but they're from England. Like their their family's from Ireland, but they're from England. But whatever, it, it's fun. We were having fun with their accents the whole time, um, and they enjoyed my my jumper, as they kept calling it. People have different ways of saying things, and I just know it because of the people I associate with online with you guys and I watch a lot of um, English, British, whatever you want to call them, vloggers so I, I understand the lingo so it's kind of funny watching other people just really confuse what a jumper was. <laughs> it's like I was like it's a sweater guys. But I also wanted to talk about this sweater and how gnarly and gross it is. Not like gross as in it's like dirty but like gross as it's like one of those sweaters you just kind of wear um, because it's warm and comforting. There's like a hole, I believe, somewhere, yeah, like right there, yeah, there it is, on the armpit. But it's just one of those sweaters that you wear, like, home, by yourself, because it's so shitty, and it's so comfortable, and it's warm, especially when it's freezing out. And today, again, is another snowstorm, so I'm stuck inside. But, I'm rambling. Today, I decided, while I was at Target, I wanted to make one of those epic milkshakes. I believe they're called freak shakes. So I bought a bunch of stuff to make a freak shake. And some of it is as simple as little donuts. And some are a little bit more, you know, exciting. I don't know what these are, but they looked good. So I'm going to try that. And, oh, oh, the ice cream I got. The ice cream I got. Blue Bunny Cherry Pickin' Chocolate. The only thing is I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate. 
but I love black cherries, so I figured might cross each other out. Maybe my love for black cherries will, you know, be all right enough for the dark chocolate to be okay. And plus it's only a little bit and it's going to be, you know, mixed up in the blender. So I probably won't taste it as much. So I guess let's just get started on that. Let's just, let's make a freak shake. Let's do it. Let's do this. I just took the lid off, but look at that. I don't know what it is, but that is super satisfying to see this. It's like it was like literally poured in and you can see like the ripples and stuff. I don't know why, but I'm super happy about that. Um, uh, I need an ice cream scooper. Ice cream scooper. You know, one thing I want to do eventually is like make this organized. I mean, when I moved here, I just kind of threw everything in here. So ignore that. Ignoring, ignoring gone. Um, let's get a couple good chunks. Good helping scoops. All right, come on, let's do this. Right in here. Yas. Actually, those chunks of chocolate are much bigger than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> Not going to lie. They didn't look as big in the in the package. Like, when you look on the side, you're like, oh, they look a little mini. No, they're kind of big. How much should I make? I mean, it's a freak shake, so I guess it should be, like, a little bit. Like, quite a bit. All right, let's see. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. I'm using my little, the little blender because I feel like it'd be easier to do than in that like massive blender, and it'd be less to, uh, less to clean later. Ah, oh, man down. Ah, it's all right. Fix it. Now for our lactose-free milk because I cannot have lactose. Well, very limited lactose. I like to say limited because I have cheese and I like yogurt and I like obviously ice cream but milk just messes me up I don't know how much we should put in uh, maybe like that that much that looks good yeah sure there's like a little bit in there oh you know what I think we need to add a little bit of something something yeah let's add a little bit of this just a bit though not a lot just a, just a little bit because I've learned that it is a bitch to make milkshakes with alcohol in it like it just it's just too strong it has too strong of a flavor and it overpowers the ice cream all right now I'll put this bitch on here somewhere actually let's kind of shake it first so I can get all the shit at the bottom all right now let's place it on here turn it on and then we're gonna hear a loud fucking noise All right, I think that's blended. Let's check it. Looks very milkshakey. I'm gonna say that's a milkshake. Granted, it's a lot less in there than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. I've decided to be all fancy with it and uh, we're gonna put it in this wine glass cause, well, I really don't have any other option right now. Granted, this is still like thick as fuck and it's not pouring the way I think it should. So let's get a spoon mess with it a bit there we go although I just tasted it and holy shit that tastes so good all right obviously I need to get more I'm gonna have to make more shake now I got it filled up a little bit all right next my plan is we're gonna take a little chocolate actually originally before I poured it in there, was planning on like doing that thing where you decorate the inside and it's all like got those swirls on it, but I forgot. So I'm just gonna put shit on top. So that's what we're gonna plan. I'm just gonna put some on top and call it all oh, that. That looks pretty sweet though. It looks pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. And I got some maraschino churros. I imagine if you had like fresh cherries, it'd be fine, but I don't have fresh cherries because I think about it. I'm just gonna throw a few of these puppies on there. So far, so good. Mmm. Not gonna lie, this tastes this tastes really good. Getting diabetes tonight. Which actually I have a high risk for, so I should probably monitor what I'm doing. But I'm not. I'm not gonna. 
actually it's kind of doing what I wanted to do anyways. Look, it's doing like a swirl on the side. Accidental. Awesome. I'm loving it. It's really pretty actually. Cool. I have this kind of swirly straw. I got the big one and it's kind of thick, like it's plastic, so it's not going to like bend or anything. I did that on purpose because I want to stick this in here like that. And then I'm going to put shit on top of it. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I got these little donuts. And I think I'm going to put them around the straw. So right here on the straw point, I'm just going to shove that puppy right on top of it and uh, eat the, oh, it's just going to fall in. We're just going to put a couple of these on there. Oh yeah, yas, mmm, bish, I'm going to put three, I think that's fine. Can you call this a diabetes shake? No, we'll call this the Beatus. That's what we're going to call this. And I have these cherry cordial ones. I found. I've never had these. Granted, how the fuck do you even open it? Alright. But they look good. I thought they'd be pretty cool to put in. Just kind of throw on there because they had cherry on it. Oh, ho, ho. we're just going to put that bitch like right there. Alright. And then I found this lint. Hello, my name is Strawberry Cheesecake uh, Candy Bar. And that's what I meant. I was hard pressed to find something that was cherry, so I went with Strawberry Cheesecake because I was like, that sounds delicious. And I figure we'll just. Oh, and it's cute! I've never actually seen what they have. They have like lips and stuff. Look how cute this is. I love it. The little hearts and the kisses. Oh, I love that so much. I'm going to do with it, and I'm just going to stick this bitch. Right on in there somewhere. Oh, I lost a cherry. I want the cherries to be on top, so I don't want to lose it too much. I might throw some more cherries in there because I lost them in the fray. Oh, diabetes. Oh, diabetes. This is Vlogmas, so we have to add a little bit of Christmas cheer. And I still have some of these um, little snowman peeps left. So why the fuck not just add a snowman peep right to the tip. So, here it is, <laughs> my uh, diabetes freak shake. I think it's really pretty. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna drink this. Uh, I also kind of forgot to eat dinner, so it looks like this is what's for dinner. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'll probably eat something else. I kind of don't want this to go to waste though, so this is probably gonna get eaten, I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. First time that I got the right amount of Baileys in a milkshake. You just need a little bit. That's the problem. If you put a lot, it just drowns out the flavor of the milkshake. Like whatever ice cream you're getting. One shot will do you. One shot for the entire drink will do you. Now that is one sexy milkshake. Holy shit. Look how sweet he is sometimes. All cuddled up. Oh. God damn, focus. There it is. Number 16. Bloop. So if you're wondering why it's so much brighter than usual when I do this, it's because I forgot to do this last night and it's actually the next day. So really, this has kind of been a span of three days in one vlog. Sorry about that. But, you know, it's a complete vlog. It's, you know, I'm allowed to have these every once in a while. I'm not used to the daily vlogging thing. Plus, I was so exhausted, I just kind of fell asleep a lot. So, yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, to your challenge. The challenge today is salute our or your military. Because, you know, you might not be part of the U.S. So salute whatever military you are part of because they fight for your country, for your freedom. Unless you're part of, you know, some evil uh, country, I guess, and you don't believe in their politics, then don't salute them. Uh, I guess this gets a little weird when it's 
outside the countries. You know what? Give respect to those who are fighting a fight in general because that that can't be that couldn't be easy. I can't imagine risking your life every day. Like even with police officers and firefighters and things like that, I couldn't imagine risking your life every day um for everyone else, really. Like those are the most selfless people. Um you got to think about. And I know that some of them some people may think the military goes a little too far in certain things and I'm not really going to get into all that. But if you respect anyone who is in the military, today's your day to salute them. So that is your challenge. This long-winded conversation got down to that. But anyways, <laughs> let's go on a much happier note and let's just talk about the Rua and how awesome they were. I really enjoyed them and I hope you guys did too. Uh, like I said, I'll put their link in the description, whether it be their Twitter or YouTube. I'm not sure if they have a YouTube channel, but if they have a Twitter, I know they have a Twitter, so I'm going to put that down in my description. So you'll definitely be able to find them. And as per usual, at least for this month, I'll see you tomorrow.